I'm nervous, I'm pumped, but I'm ready. I just hope I beat my time last year. The event today is the Run for the Cure for the breast cancer. This year we, are, we hope to raise 2,400,000. Uh, the funds are going to be invested in research, support to women uh, having breast cancer, and also education uh, as you see here with uh, the Pink Tour. Thank you so much for registering this year again. Well, Nelly is a survivor. It's really important for me because this year I'm wearing the pink shirt and that means I beat breast cancer. I'm a survivor. <laughs> Nelly was uh, detected yeah, between 23 and 24, which is very young for women. We decided to uh, work with her and she is one of our ambassadors. Okay guys, let's go. She uh, decided to help and to contribute to educate young women about breast cancer. I need to set my playlist. Because you know, there, uh, among the breast cancer, the people who have the breast cancer, uh, about 20% of these women are under 49. So it is very important for them to be sensibilized, to know about breast cancer, to know what to do and uh, to be educated about the symptoms of breast cancer. Justin, come with me. It is a big challenge because young people, most of them, they don't think that they can be affected by breast cancer. So that's why we have decided to put on the road this big uh, VR this summer because it's an education program because we wanted to uh, raise that concern that it can happen to them, it can happen to young women. You know, it's like uh, every cancer, have good uh, health habits, uh, eat well, do some exercise, and as for the breast cancer, you have to observe yourself on a regular basis to see if there are any changes. So may today be a celebration where I ran for the first time as a survivor hey! to give hope to fighters and of course to honor those that we lost to this disease. And to all of you here today, not just for running for the cure, but for being my cure. Thank you, Nick.